What were the dumbest lies you believed when you were a kid? When I was a child, I got upset after a button came off of my shirt. My mother told me not to worry and that if I placed the button under a rock in the yard, the button fairy would replace it with a quarter. I believed it, and to my mother's dismay, she discovered I had pulled the buttons off of every shirt in my closet. To this day, 40 years later, shirt buttons can still be found under random rocks in my parents' backyard. What happened when you learned about the tooth fairy? I was 7 years old. One of my teachers wanted us to write a letter to a family member or friend or someone. I wrote the letter, got the envelope, got the stamp. My mom had worked at the county jail at the time and she suggested I write one of the inmates who never got mail. So I did. I wrote something along the lines of I'm sorry you're arrested, but I hope you get out. I even signed it with my 7 year old signature. While I was writing the letter my mom had left to get to the store. I asked my older brother what our address was, because I needed to put a return address. He said, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Washington DC, 20500. For those that don't know, that's the address to the White House. I wrote it on the letter, and put it with the mail my mom was sending out. Mind you, I grew up in Michigan, and never left the state, but I wasn't smart. Years later I went to pick my mom up from work, and one of the co's called me Mr. President and I asked why he said that. He mentioned the letter I wrote years prior, and how it was a joke in the jail any time my mom mentioned me. This is one of the funniest stories I've ever read in my life. I'm just imagining some random inmate opening a letter and Shaki 7 year old kid writing I'm sorry you're arrested, but I hope you get out. He looks at the envelope, and it's from the White House. He spends several days wondering who the hell wrote that. You made me cry with laughter. My parents convinced us that the person knocking on our door on weekend nights when we were asleep was our Uncle Shiloh stopping to say hello. We don't have an Uncle Shiloh, it was the pizza guy. When I was a kid my dad told me it cost 25 cents to change the radio station to keep me from effing with the radio in his car. I believed that until I was 14. Don't give strange ideas to some radio or TV broadcaster. I was told by my dad when I was around 8 to 9 that the people of the sewerage plant have been examining your poop and need you to eat more fiber. Eating too much sugar will glue my eight cheeks together. Thanks mom. One time when I was 5 to 6 I asked my brother how french fries were made and he told me they inject mashed potatoes into the skins of the fries with a syringe. I believed that until I saw my mom cooking home fries for breakfast one morning when I was 8. My grandmother told me that pinching gave cancer. I got pinched once at recess and yelled at the person because I thought they were going to give me cancer. My mother told me basically everything she did not want me to have caused cancer. Salt cancer, maraschino cherries cancer, anything with any sort of food coloring in it cancer, soda cancer, spending too much time on TV slash computer slash video games cancer. Now pinching fell under things she didn't physically want me doing. Those didn't give you cancer, they gave you blood clots. My mom rented a never ending story and dad told me, if I tried to watch it, I'd have to sit there forever, because it never ended. I remember being thankful for my dad's warning, and wondering why mom would do that to me. The button on your armrest on airplanes is the eject button. I found out it reclines your seat embarrassingly late. When I was a kid my dad always told me not to touch it, because it was an emergency button. One time when I was like 5 we were flying to visit family and he fell asleep, so I pressed it a bunch, because I was curious, nothing happened and I fell asleep thinking it must be broken. I woke up in a stroller with my parents upset, because the plane had to make an emergency landing, and I started crying, because I thought it was my fault. So you decided to say F it, and nope out of the plane. Then got pissed, when you leaned back 2 degrees instead. Lean back 2 degrees, well, 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 someone flies first class. The rumble stripes on the side of the road are there, to help people who are blind drive. When I was 6 my parents told me, that when you flush from an airplane toilet, the waste gets dumped mid-air into the ocean. I believed that, and told all my friends. Parents then told me they were joking, 
and I became the class fool. See, I thought that as a kid, not because anyone told me, but in my child mind it made sense. As a result, I was terrified to use a plain bathroom. In the late 90s, I was on a plane with my mom and I needed to go, but refused. Stewardess said that, if I went, I could sit with the pilot for the rest of the flight. I still refused. Now I'm kicking myself cause that's a chance I'd never get again. My older brother pranked me once. I had watched a kids TV show. I think it was the electric company that featured a guest star who was a tap dancer. My brother convinced me that tap dancers made their tapping sounds not with their feet, but with their mouths. I spent the next several weeks trying to tap dance with my mouth noises before my mom made me quit. I'm surprised she lasted that long tbh. My 5 year old son is currently on a death metal voice kick. While I generally like metal, and it's kind of adorable, I'm going to get sick of him screaming at the top of his lungs really quick. You can only be yelled at Cherius and Milk please so many times. That the draining sound of the water in the bathtub was a monster that would suck you in as well. A lie made to get me out of the bath. I stuck my finger down the plug hole thinking the swelling vortex it made would spin me around like some miniature tornado. Yeah, the fireman who cut me out of the bath didn't laugh either. Okay, but did you spin? That guacamole was ground up guacamoles. Dad's a great lol. Customers will ask me what the difference is between pork sausage and Italian sausage. I tell them one is made with pork and the other with Italians. I said this to one customer and his kid went wide-eyed with horror. It was hilarious. That the hazard button in a car would blow the car up. Holy shim not the only one. It's such a scary symbol for a kid, only to find out it just makes the lights blink lol. My mom told me this, so I just pressed the button to spite her. When I was a kid I asked my dad if reading enough books really could give you telekinesis. Matilda. He said yes. I spent many years after that thinking I just wasn't doing enough. A good way to get your kids to read I guess. My mom used to tell me birds have wings and can fly because they eat a lot of fruits and veggies. I wanted to fly. Instead just ended up with healthy eating habits. She pav loved me real good. That if you, you die in your dream, you die in real life. I believe that girls pooped and peed out of their butthole when I was 16 yo. I asked my older sister, when you go pee, how do you keep the turds from sliding right out at the same time? 16. It was really hard to imagine having two holes below as a kid. I imagine it as two buttholes or a perfect hollow circle. Ah yes, the cloaker. I was in on this lie between my mom and younger sister. My sister was about 5 years old at the time, and my mom convinced her that Benadryl was truth serum. My mom would threaten to give it to my sister if she knew she was lying. It was so hilarious, but my sister seriously believed it and would get upset. I was told your ears turn red when you lie. Hard to get away with stuff. When asterisk why you look like the hear no evil monkey. My mom used to sing some kind of rhyme like this little finger makes you laugh. While wiggling her index finger in front of me. The idea was that if I laughed it was because I was lying. And she would treat it as a 100% scientific proof. Even though it made me laugh hysterically every single time. Also it was an angry laugh. Because I hated so much that it made me laugh, even though I was telling the truth about 90% of the time. If you swallowed the black watermelon seeds a watermelon would grow in your belly, yeah. That Rugrats episode didn't help much with not believing that lie either. You know how Barbie feet are on tippy toes, so they are shaped to fit into a high heel shoe. Well when I was a kid, I thought that when girls grew up into women, that their feet would be shaped like that. Despite the fact that I lived in a house with four grown women, none of whom had Barbie feet. My mom told me my birthmark was a coffee stain from when she accidentally spilled coffee on me as a baby. I believed it till I was like 11. Walt Disney invented color. Watching a black and white show I thought everyone from the 50s and lower had lived in black and white. I asked my father who invented color. Dad looked at me dead serious and said Walt Disney I believed it fart along. I used to work as a reenactor at an 1800s village museum. I would go greet the kids at the school bus in my full outfit and give them some context including holding up black and white photos of the times before we went into the buildings. One time in a particularly young group, 
A little girl raised her hand, and asked when we go inside, will it be in color, or is it still black and white in there? I love this little insight into how a child's mind works. My time to shine. When I was a little kid, I went with my mom, to take my dog to the vet for a checkup. I asked her, if my dog's doctor would be a dog, lol. As a kid I had a strangulated hernia, which left me with one testicle. My dad told me, if I ever had kids they would be all boys or all girls cause each testicle is for each six. Believed it for years. I'm wondering if your dad actually believes that. My dad won't drink water, because he says it rusts your stomach. So. My granddad would tell me, that the button slash switches to turn on the interior lights in his car were actually buttons for ejector seats. I would be scared to go anywhere near them in case I accidentally yeeted myself out of his Ford Focus. He was a funny dude. My sister told me that, if you count all the stones of Stonehenge you will die. I still don't know how many stones there are in Stonehenge. I'll count them for you. There are. He dead. I once thought academic scholarships were only given to dumb students, so that some of them could still attend college. I even told my older brother, that he was so stupid, he had to get scholarships, to go to college. He went to the Ivy League. Man I'm worried for whoever told you that. That women's periods stop in water, to avoid sharks smelling it. Um fair what? It's an evolutionary adaptation. That our entire house was covered by cork's eyes security cameras, and that my parents could see my every move. My kid has convinced herself of the same thing and always randomly asks what am I doing right now. From across the house, my mom convinced us she had eyes in the back of her head. She could tell us what we were doing in the living room, while working in the kitchen facing away from us. We'd tested even further, by doing the how many fingers am I holding up, test and she'd get it right every time. So all little kid evidence concluded, that mom did in fact have eyes in the back of her head. It wasn't until I was much older, that I randomly noticed the crystal clear reflection in the kitchen window my mom could always see. Did they tell you that? Dad told us his dried apricots were monkey ears, so we wouldn't eat them. This isn't a lie, but when I was a kid I had no idea how turn signals worked, and just thought the cars always knew exactly where we were going. I didn't realize they turned off automatically when the steering wheel is turned back straight. I just thought all adults had to be really coordinated to disengage them, while executing the turn. This made me really nervous about learning to drive. OMG yes, I remember trying to catch my dad turning it off. But I never did, so I bragged to friends, that my dad is really fast etc until a friend's brother told me the truth. One time I was at my dad's, parents separated, and him and a friend were hanging outside sipping bears, and smoking cigarettes, while I was decapitating dandelions with my sweet A plastic ninja sword. My dad never let me have soda, when I was a kid, his friend left, and my dad went inside to do dishes. I saw a 7-up can on the deck table, and sprinted towards and, and took a huge swig. Turns out they had been asking, and putting their sick buds in there. I run inside, and throw up, and my dad goes what happened what happened. I lied and said nothing but he figured it out. So, he told me all the soda he buys tastes like that, even if they are unopened. I believed him for a few years till I was like 9, sipping bears. Damn dude, that's so metal. My mom told me, while I was helping, mix some batter or something, that if I changed from mixing clockwise to counterclockwise the ingredients would unmixed. I believed this for way too long and still only mix clockwise. When I was a little fellow my parents used to told me, when you smoke you'll die instantaneously. Unfortunately they forgot this at a campfire organized by our former neighborhood, and smoked a sick. I remember I was desperately trying to stop them, and cried all the time because I thought they're both about to die. See, you just misunderstood. You will die instantly, not them. Yeah one doesn't simply smoke a sick. You must first sip it over the course of a month, to build up a tolerance everyone knows that. My dad told me this, when I was 4. We had a moving company moving our things in our new house and my dad did a 7 to 11 run for the movers for cigarettes and Mountain Dew. He told me during the car ride, when we got back, I just sat in the yard watching the movers. My dad asked what I was doing, and I said I want to watch them die. My dad told me he was colorblind to the extreme. When I was 8, the sky is green, the grass is blue, 
Go was red. Stop was green. The ultimate. White people look black and black people look white. My mom made him fix that last statement quick. When I asked her, mommy do I look black to you too? She was livid, but I was so gullible at that age lol. The teachers in my school told us if you pull the fire alarm, ink shoots out on your hands. That doesn't wash off for a few days, so they know who pulled it. I was 26 when I found out it's all a lie. My friend Kyle and I dared each other to pull it with work gloves and the whole damn thing came off the wall unconnected to any wires or anything. Just glued on. Ah, schools on military bases. Lost my stuffed animal, a white dog, in the airport in Miami, when I was 5. It was my favorite, and I was really sad about it. A few weeks later my mom presented me with a brown dog, that otherwise looked exactly like the white one I'd lost. She said the workers at the airport had found it, and mailed it to us, but he got a tan, because he was in Florida. Bought it hook, line and sinker for a few years. Tan dog is now my son's, and he's a big fan. Our neighbor's son has autism and he had a stuffed alligator that was pink and yellow. He carried it with him everywhere. For years, it would get torn and they'd repair it. Eventually, the fabric was so thin it just fell apart. They hid it from him and told him that gator had grown up and gone to live with the other gators. He was so inconsolable. They eventually found a slightly larger alligator that was green and gave it to him. They told him that gator had been living in the sewers with his friends and it turned him green. He finally outgrew the second gator a couple of years later. I left Kiki Monster at a car dealership when I was 4. My dad drove back and they'd strapped him into the car on the rotary in the showroom. A year later I was fairly reliable about not losing things and was given another who looked identical who was on deck from a year before. Will be 35 years in a month or two. Still have them both. Hijacking your comment for a parental life pro tip. If your kid has a favorite stuffed animal, and it's possible to get a second one, do it and stash it away for the inevitable day that something happens to the original. You can also rotate them in active use, so that you can surreptitiously wash one, while your child has the backup. One of my goddaughters has a kind of giraffe blanket thing, that she named Mr. Moo. Her parents eventually bought every single one they could find in the UK to maintain continuity after Mr. Moo got left on a bus or a train or the beach. As far as she's concerned, now seven, her Mr. Moo is still the original Mr. Moo, a prime example of why some white lies are good. My favorite illustration of a white lie, back when Jimmy Carter was running for president. He claimed that his mother taught him morality, including never to lie. A reporter went to interview his mother, and she was really polite. For example greeting the reporter with the usual southern pleasantries, like nice to meet you, so glad you could come, etc. Eventually the reporter asked if Jimmy Carter ever told lies, and his mother's answer was well, he'll tell white lies. The reporter asked, what's a white lie, and she answered. Remember when I said it's nice to meet you, and I'm so glad you're here. Well this is obviously a tan lie. I could not understand how all the death scenes in war movies seemed so realistic. So, I asked one of my older brothers how they did it. He proceeded to tell me that they empty out state prisons in the area the movie is being made, dress them up, and give them guns, and tell them that if they survive the filming then they get to leave jail after. I was told that at around 7, and I believed it till I was around 10. Lol when I asked, my dad just told me that they were paid. He meant that they were just actors, and it wasn't real. My 4 year old self just thought that they were stupid, since no one would have to pay them once they were dead anyway. My 4 year old self just thought that they were stupid, since no one would have to pay them once they were dead anyway. This made me laugh out loud. Thank you lol. Your brother is a time traveling Roman warrior, or a really screwed up prison guard, all class D personnel. That you could get a ticket for having the light on in your car while driving. My parents never told me it was illegal, just that the lights made it more difficult for them to see where they're going. I had a sick magnifying glass with lights on it for my gamma boy though, so I didn't give a damn. This is revolutionary, are you telling me that instead of lying to you, your parents explained the actual reason they wanted you to do something? That if you sit too close to the TV or computer screen you'll go blind. I was told that during the summer of 5th grade, then got glasses in 6th grade. All I heard was I told you 
as I tried on my first pair of glasses and was told that my sister, one year younger, won't need glasses because she listened. She got her glasses less than a year later. They told this to my brother. Well, the reason he sat so close to the TV was because he needed glasses. Once they were put on he didn't sit so close until he lost them. That my father wrote The Count of Monte Cristo. He had started the book and loved it so much he would read a part and then recite, retell it to me as if he was the one who had come up with it. When he reached the point that he was at in the book, he would say to be continued while I whined for the rest. This lasted a week and a one half. This kid told me that if you're tore open an empty box of Marlboros in the hash S red 777, you get some kind of prize. My 1978 was spent looking, but no luck. ATM gives free money. I wanted to get a credit card, so I didn't have to pay for things. Some people do use them like that. My grandpa used to eat weird stuff like brawn sweeter and other weird sausages. My dad told me his dad ate monkey brain sandwiches too. I told that to people for 25 years. Then I said it in front of my dad. He laughed and said he was just kidding. You can't leave the house after dark, because the chupacabra outside will eat you. If you twist your belly button your butt will fall off. That swallowed gum stays in your body for 7 years. I swallowed gum and thought that was the reason I was fat. I swallowed about 10 sticks of bazooka bubble gum. The sticks were huge, like Slim Jims. Let me tell ya, that stuff came out of me like a bozaka a few hours later. Well my grandpa and I went to forest when I was around 12 years old and one of my cousin came with us too. He was 16 that time and told me that a creature lives in the woods which has male and female genital organs. When it is night time it gets out and fs whatever living thing he grabs. OFC I didn't believe my cousin I'm not that dumb. But when my grandpa seconds him, I cried like a little baby to go home. RIP grandpa you crazy old deaf. My grandpa had a glass eye and would pull it out and put it on the table to keep an eye on us haha. I miss that man. You have some interesting extended family. Did your parents ever find out what they told you? Lol. Plot twist the grandpa was the creature. If I said a lie I would get an ulcer on my tongue. I used to lie heaps till I was 11. I got an ulcer at 13 and said to my mum that I hadn't lied why did I get an ulcer. She looked at me and laughed. As a kid, I thought that girls get pregnant from kissing. Yes, 6 year me was very smart. 100% belied that, if I left a pile of rocks under this tree outside a house, a fairy would come visit me. My parents told me that, so I would go play outside. My grandma got me with, if you sprinkle salt on a bird's wings, they won't be able to fly, and sent me out with a salt shaker. I stalked the birds in the yard for hours. You won't get in trouble if you tell the truth. Bullsh.